click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study the classification of lime. We all know that lime is such an important material to cement. If the amount of lime is not appropriate, then the cement can actually crack up. So lime is an important component. Today we'll see what are the components of lime and how they have been classified. On the basis of compositions of different materials present in the lime, lime can be classified into several ways. The first is the amount of calcium in it. The first is high calcium or fat lime. Second is poor calcium or lean lime. Third one is hydraulic lime. The hydraulic limes can also be further classified into feebly hydraulic, moderately hydraulic and eminently hydraulic. The fourth is dolomitic lime. The first one is high calcium lime or fat lime. The high calcium lime or the fat lime consists of 90 to 95% of oxides of calcium that is CaO. Apart from that it consists of 2% of alumina and silica. And the remaining part of it is made up of iron oxide, magnesium oxides, water and carbon dioxide. So what are the different properties of this fat lime? Fat lime is one of the most expensive lime. It gives great quality to the cement. It hardens very slowly but once it hardens it sets properly. It has high plasticity, it has high sand carrying capacity and it is perfectly white in color. Now we will see the uses of this fat line. The first use of this is to whitewash the different walls after the construction. It is also used in chemicals and glass industry. It is used in softening hard water and also in the formation of mortar. The second type of lime that we are going to see is poor lime. Poor lime contains about 60 to 75 percent of calcium oxides that is CaO. The remaining is clay. It also contains small amounts of silica, alumina, ferrous oxide and magnesium oxides. Now let's see the properties of poor. The different properties of poor lime are the first one it is comparatively quite cheaper than the fat lime. Secondly, it has low sand capacity. It is not perfectly white in color because of the clay present in it. About 25% of the entire poor lime consists of clay. So it is around muddy white in color and it produces low quality of mortar. The most important uses of this lime are it is used for whitewashing the walls and it is used for making inferior type of structures, structures which are not very important. The third type of lime is the hydraulic lime. Hydraulic lime consists of 70 to 80 percent of calcium oxides and around 5 to 20 percent of clay. Along with this it also contains magnesium oxides and iron oxides. Now let's go through the properties of hydraulic cement. The name hydraulic cement is because of the hydraulic properties of it. It has the property of setting up into a mass in presence of water. The capacity of the cement to set under water increases with the increase of silicates and aluminates which are present in the lime. We know that clay is an important component of the hydraulic lime. About 5 to 20 percent of hydraulic lime is made up of clay. Now depending on the different percentages of clay, this hydraulic lime is divided into three different forms. The three of them are, the first one is feebly hydraulic lime. The second one is moderately hydraulic lime and the third one is eminently hydraulic lime. Feebly hydraulic lime consists of 5 to 15 percent of clay. Moderately hydraulic lime consists of 15 to 25 percent of clay. Whereas eminently hydraulic lime consists of 25 to 30 percent of clay. The last type of lime that we are going to study today is dolomite lime. Dolomite lime is obtained by heating up or combining two mixtures CaCO3 and MgCO3. That is by basically heating up dolomite. This type of lime consists 60 to 70 percent of CaO and 30 to 40 percent of MgO. It has very small proportion of clay in it. The properties of this lime are, the first one is it is extremely expensive. It is one of the most expensive lime. The second one is it is plastic. Third one is it gives good strength. Number four produces a very strong mortar and the fifth one is it has low sand carrying capacity. The first one is it is used as a flux in metallurgy. The second one is it is used for preparing special slags and the third one is it is used for refining and repairing the basic refractories. So here we studied the classification of lime. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.